Hello and welcome back to FT Business School. I'm here today with John Reist, who is Dean of Bradford University School of Management. Uh, John Reist um, has been particularly involved in an issue called the circular economy um, through Dame Ellen MacArthur's foundation. John, could you explain to us, first of all, what the circular economy is? Yeah, of course. Uh, circular economy is probably a term that we're not familiar with, but in essence it's about uh, designing, manufacturing and using uh, products in such a way that they can be reused, remanufactured, and it's more likely to lead to leasing and renting rather than sale of goods. Uh, this, is, this sounds very much sort of the, the green economics. Um, why why um, uh, would businesses want to be involved in this? Okay, circular economy, I guess, is partly around corporate social responsibility, but it's more hard-edged than that. There's, a, there's a, an economic rationale for doing it. Energy prices are going up and raw material prices are going up. So if we can make goods in such a way that they use less energy and they lose less raw materials to the planet, um, then that's a good thing for companies. Um, in these times, we've got a lot of things to worry about. Um, it feels um, uh, the, the state of the economy overall, um, there's, there's trust in uh, business as a, uh, a big concern. Um, do you not think the, the environmental agenda is slipping? I don't think so. Um, I think that consumers balance off concerns about the environment with making sure that goods and services meet their requirements. And the circular economy is not leading on um, the environmental factors, it's actually leading on the economic factors for businesses. And that's why so many of the big corporates around the world are starting to sit up and listen to the idea of the circular economy. So what are examples of circular economy? Okay, well, some of the bigger well-known examples are organisations like Rolls-Royce choosing to um, lease their aero engines to uh, airliners, uh, to airline manufacturers, rather than uh, sell them. So they lease them out over thousands of air, uh, miles in the air and then they take them back, they remanufacture them and then they sell them on again. Uh, other examples might be the simple doorstep milk delivery, uh, which we were all very, very familiar with, where bottles were recycled and reused. So some aspects of circular economy are returned to the past over good business models. Um, something like doorstep delivery people may be very romantic about, but most of us have found that it's cheaper to go to the local Tesco Metro um, uh, or, or Sainsbury's um, to get a, 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 um, a four pint um, plastic bottle um, uh, that we might recycle. Why, why though are people going to go back to these old business models, some, th some may say are outdated? Some people may want, may want to do that, some people may not. Um, but we've all seen the stories about farmers um, and milk prices and the big retailers squeezing down on milk prices and it may well be that farmers are incentivised to actually put their own rounds on uh, and therefore that's supportive of the circular economy. Um, a, a circular economy sounds a bit like what gets spoken about in Silicon Valley of a sharing economy. Might be things like car uh, sharing. Um, uh, in London we've got the Boris bikes. Is, is, is that circular economy? These are all parts of the circular economy that we walk past every day potentially but don't actually see as being part of the circular economy. The fact that we very often lease mobile phones, a game, uh, a similar sorts of example. Uh, but more and more this is likely to be happening in coming years. Um, it, uh, some of the, the, uh, the worry about those sort of things though, is, is big companies um, sort of controlling markets, owning all uh, the raw materials and the assets and people, people are very upset about that. That brings us on to issues of trust about business. Um, is there not a fear maybe if we're, um, uh, we're uh, business schools are too busy talking about the circular economy, they miss out on a, a fundamental problem in business which is the fact that people just don't trust uh, these, these companies. There's two parts to this. With regard to the circular economy, it doesn't mean to say that there won't be competition anymore. Companies will still compete for the customer and therefore customers will get a good deal. Um, the area of trust, though, you're absolutely right, it is very, very important in all the different markets. We've seen all sorts of reasons for consumers not to trust uh, businesses in different sectors. And business schools have to play their part in making sure that our graduates go out there and do the right thing. 
Thank you, John. And for more on this and other business education matters, go to ft.com forward slash business education.